Komodo dragons are superb swimmers, and they've been seen swimming in between these islands, even through the huge rips and currents that come racing in between them. They do also routinely walk up and down this beach. So what I'm hoping is to coax one down with a bit of meat to the water's edge, and then paddle out in this kayak, and I'm hoping that the dragon will follow me. The National Park Rangers are convinced this will work, but I'm not so sure. So there is a dragon on the move heading towards us. Oh, yes, this is perfect. Thinking about it, the tongue is lashing out onto the water. He knows the food's close. They're super, super confident, but obviously this whole scenario is completely new to him. There is no doubt he'll never have followed a kayak out to sea before. So he's just sussing out, just trying to figure out is the gamble of something new worth the possibility of a meal? Perfectly, but that was a disaster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, he clearly totally got the better of me. I'm going to call it a day and give it another shot tomorrow. Right, here we go again. And today I'm steering clear of the kayak. I've come up with a different technique that I hope will work. So we have a dragon coming. He's clearly interested. Yep, here we go. Look at that, the tongue flickering down onto the water. Just trying to pick up that scent, see where the food's coming from. What I've got to make sure is that he finds the food and doesn't think that I'm the thing that's going to be his potential meal. He goes right in front of him. Yes, OK, right now he's got a hold of it. And wow, he's strong. So this is quite a big dragon. He's about two and a half metres long. Definitely a male. The scent trails attracted another dragon and another good sized one as well, so now I'm gonna have to be doubly careful, keep my wits about me. There you go. It needs to be his own choice, but if he comes in of his own volition, we might just see him swim. Okay, here we go, now he's swimming. Now he's swimming, he's off the bottom. And I can feel the strength that he has, whipping the body side to side, using that, that tail much like a crocodile would. They use swimming to get around, to move between islands, and not to hunt. So he doesn't want to eat this in the water. He wants to bring it back up onto the beach. There he goes. <sighs> this place really is the land that time forgot. Two ancient dinosaurs wandering down a beach, tongues flickering out, searching for meat. It is a truly primeval sight. <laughs>